Ah, yes. So after you did the torture that was Undergrowth Ruins, you're now going to go up against the next dungeon. The real question is, is Galleon's Graveyard any more annoying than Undergrowth Ruins? Well, let me tell you real quick. It's actually a decent dungeon, you know. I'm fine with doing it a hundred times. In fact, I'm very close to getting back to a hundred runs like I used to be. That was a weird flex, but okay. Alright, let me see here. I'm at the entrance. I got my keys. What are we gonna do here? The entrance is gone. We're off to a great start here. The entrance is already gone, but I figured out a way to get in. Just like that. For some reason that teleported me, I'm not exactly sure what why. Regardless, here we are, the first room. I think I have to get 16 tokens or something. So not that bad, and not as cancerous as getting 40! Alright, so I'm going to the door now because apparently I decided to get 20 instead of 16 like the smart person I am. Now you're met with the only parkour in the dungeon, and it's a whirlpool parkour, but since I'm an archer, these things don't matter to me. What they're supposed to do is pull you up into the sky so you progress through the parkour. The only problem is, sometimes the one below you will pull you back down. I once had the one at the very beginning pull me all the way back there. Alright, anyway, I finally managed to get up here. Thank God that didn't happen again. And now I'm in a room where it introduces you to the spawning mechanic of the cannonballs. And for some reason, since I'm doing this at level 100, I could kill the boss with Arrow Storm anyway. So I don't know why I'm actually doing this to myself with these cannons. The best part about the cannons is that they have the range of also that same key guardian, except this time they're a three-year-old instead of a two-year-old because they can actually see things. Alright, they finally managed to get rid of it, and now we're actually getting to a part of the dungeon that is somewhat pirate-themed. I guess you could call the cannonballs and whirlpools pirate-themed, but I don't care. I now get to man my own ship, be my own captain, and somehow go up against like 50 different skeletons at once on boats. It's gonna be great. To be honest, this part is actually kind of fun because I get to control the cannons, but do you remember the old Galleon's Graveyard? Yeah, where you had to sit there for 10 minutes straight holding down one pressure plate in hopes that you would win? Yeah, let's do that again! The only problem with this part is that A, it's so drawn out to the point where I just want to skip it, <laughs> by the way you can, and two, the fact that this part has severe lag most of the time, so when I actually go to shoot, it has like a three second delay before it actually shoots, and therefore I just have to spam right click on the button in hopes that it actually fires. Alright, I finally managed to defeat all the rest of the ships, and now there's another parkour which literally takes another 10 seconds. Which I just love fast parkours in general, so thank you very much. Now we're in this room where this guy gives you backstory or something that honestly you don't actually need, but if you care about lore, you should probably pay attention to it. But I don't, and probably 90% of the population doesn't. Now you're on a part where you have to run down a bunch of tunnels in order to get tokens in hopes that the token actually does spawn, which usually it does, but there's been a few times where it takes like 10 minutes to actually spawn in. So we're getting to the levels of undergrowth ruined spawn right here, and that is not good. Alright, here's the second token, and... It, this, this thing just scammed me. Why? Alright, there we go, I got the two tokens again, and this time the hopper didn't scam me or whatever. Now you're introduced to the third parkour, another parkour, don't you love parkours? And that parkour you don't even have to do, you can just walk on the bottom like I did. But this parkour you actually have to do. And let me give you some deep commentary of what's going on. We, 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 ah, nice. Also, by the way, the platforms disappear once you step on them, so isn't that just jolly? Now you're at the boss, Redbeard himself. He's also got 600k HP at a, a level 60 boss. 
Oh, my bad. Sorry. 750k. But don't worry. You have to use these cannonballs to try and actually get over to him. The only problem with the cannonballs in this room is that most of the time, Redbeard is so far away from the cannonballs to the point where they don't even detect him. Another problem with this room is the fact that Redbeard can literally destroy the cannonballs on his own, which, I mean, that makes sense and all, but you can also destroy the cannonballs on your own. So if you're trying to use any AoE spell whatsoever to kill off the random minions, you're pretty much destroying your entire line of off offense. I was about to say defense, no, I mean offense. Also, another problem is Redbeard has a pool spell that yeets you so far across the arena to the point where you don't even know where he is. And, but anyway, the cannonballs managed to do it by themselves, which is just jolly. Let's go look at the rewards real quick and see what you're exactly trying to grind for here. So you've got tier 8 tools, so you know, that's alright. Oh, um, right, yeah, this is, oh, that's actually not that bad. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, Jesus. That is, uh, okay, wow, huh. Well, regardless, there you go. There's the Galleon's Graveyard Dungeon. I hope you did enjoy, but guess what? I've already got a hundred runs on this dungeon, so no more being a pirate for me. I wouldn't say this dungeon is the best, but it's at least better than Undergrowth Ruins, and if you're better than Undergrowth Ruins, you're immediately like a 9 out of 10. 